Hey, what's up guys, it's Tony. I had to make this video because I think that, well, I believe it's really, really super important. Uh, especially after I got diagnosed with BPH, benign prosthetic hyperplasia, which means the enlargement of your prostate. Mine gotten so big, 100 grams. There'll be a video actually about the sizes and what's normal. But um, basically I couldn't urinate anymore because it was blocking the urethra. And um, I started to share this information with some loved ones, some dear friends, and you know, God bless them. I love them dearly. But there are certain things and certain instances in life where you have to be really cautious about where you get your information from. And pretty much everybody, not every, not all, but everybody had a brother's, sister's, cousin's, uncle, son had this. My, my father's nephews, blah, 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 had this. My uncle's, the grocery store butcher, da, 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 da. Like everybody had somebody who they had heard this much of the information about the diagnosis that I had and that I should call them or I should get in touch with them or that I should uh, take their advice or whatever. On top of that, quite a few people had advice on take this remedy, that remedy. I heard that this does it. If you eat this, if you take that, if you drink that tea, buy this saw uh, palmetto, do this. Now listen, I'm all for alternative medications and medicines and what have you. I'm not shitting on that one bit at all. However, all that said, it is absolutely crucial that you get medical, proper medical professional advice when you're going through a health crisis like this. Because that's really, at the end of the day, the only people that can truly diagnose, right, where, what's going on and what needs to be done. So that first and foremost is really critical, is you really got to consider the source of your information where it's coming from, who's been through it. Because at the end of the day, all of our bodies and where we are in our age and our physiology and our lifestyle play a huge role in our diagnoses. You know, so the way that one person reacts to a medication is not the way that another person is going to react because there are so many variables, right, that, are to have, that need to be considered. And your urologist, your doctor, is really the only one or the jumping off point about what, where to begin. It's absolutely critical that that's where you start because your sister's brother's grocer who went through some prostate issue, it's not going to be the same as yours. And for myself, I actually end up feeling completely confused, overwhelmed, and like, what am I gonna do, you know? And so all of that stuff, all of that confusion and that worry was abated once I got to be with my urologist and sit down and discuss options where I was and take tests and CT scans and all of that other, those other things that then he was able to come up with a, a, a solution and a directive about where we were going to go to fix the issue. So, right, that's the one piece of advice that I would give you love your friends and what somebody else went through is not your journey. Go and get the proper help. It's critical.